it's our first ever bus like this in Laos. Well, in life, we never done anything like this. Basically, guys, this bus has like beds like this, and each one has like its own little bed. Like, how cool is that? Room for a cat. Do whatever you want. There's a window open. It's weird. It's like it's not bed, but it's not a seat. I don't even know how to explain this bus. I've never been on anything like this before. <laughs> It's pretty cool. You can literally look through the window. Some nice air con here, keeping us cool as well as the windows open, which is pretty lush. And the craziest thing on this bus at the moment is the fact that it has plugs. Actual full on plugs, not USBs for your laptop to go in. That's pretty sick. So I'm looking forward to some movies very soon. Just chill out, have some movies. <laughs> Just what kind of day, man? This is epic. What's going on? It's so shaky. It's like some road works or something. That's so shy. Are you not liking it? He's not liking it. I actually saw on the news the other day there was a bus that had flipped over because it hit a motorbike that was driving along one of these roads. So thanks, that's thanks for letting us know. saw this bus taking us over and see what happens when you rush ouch so the bus is gonna get pretty busy for the last leg of the journey Broken bus? Broken? Broken? Okay. So like 20 people just got out of the I mean, lucky that we're going, we're going to drive fast because it's so hot right now. Like being out there with the broken bus, it must suck. A little bit squished in now. And the roof is like weirdly low so you can't actually really sit upright. Like <laughs> I can't imagine if they had to drive like this the whole time. Like it's only like 20 minutes, so it's all good. But damn, it's uncomfortable. Like, look at this, literally squished. <laughs> so we just arrived to Takek bus station, having a bit of a difficulty to find the address of our friends. Sabadi. Hey, Sabadi. Hey. <laughs> here are some colleagues of the Tuk Tuk. And yeah, we're here. Are you ready? You excited? Yeah. yeah. But the sunset is really beautiful tonight. Oh yeah. So I'm enjoying that. So we are in Takek right now at our friend's house and there is actually a reason that we're here. It's the reason that we came back to Laos. Yeah. Why are we here? Basically, we're saying goodbye to one of the members from Travels and Toast and basically I am retiring guys. I am retiring because it's too hard. Not getting any views, no one's subscribing, you know? Like, check, like, it was like 85% of viewers aren't subscribed. Like, what the hell? I'm not <laughs> leaving. It's the cat, guys. It's Chai. I'm pretty sure you guessed it as well. Traveling with the cat, it was a bit of a pain in the ass. You must have seen it uh, for yourself in our previous videos. Yeah, any of you who have just arrived to our channel and like, what are these guys on about? A cat? What are you talking about? Your travel channel? Basically, two years ago, we got given a cat that was found on the street. He was covered in oil. He was about to die and you know we felt like it was wrong to not help this animal so we took him in we fed him we gave him a house and yeah and we basically didn't have yeah. a place to leave him and we just wanted to do the right thing so what we did we took the cat to thailand so we traveled all of the thailand for like eight months with the cat yeah. and now it, it, it's gotten harder and harder and the cat was not enjoying can you imagine cat on the bus sometimes like 12 hours 15 hours you know it's too much yeah. for a little animal it's not enjoying this trip it's not a human you know like we enjoyed the cat doesn't so where we are now it's actually really really good lovely location in fact this is our friend's house and and the house is epic it's like really big like very traditional Lao house this is like they got look how big is this space yeah and they have been kind enough to take him in give him a home and yeah. make sure he's okay which is 
He's a lucky cat. Most cats Definitely. here in Laos do not get this. Yeah. He's spoiled, so. But yeah, this yeah. is where we're leaving him. It's, <laughs> it's kind like, of sad. It's getting emotional now, yeah? Because basically, we're going back to Thailand, guys. We're going back to Thailand today. In fact, in a bit. We're gonna jump into the car. 10 minutes. Yeah, and we're leaving so soon. Chai. There he is. Hey, up, Schizo. Chai. Come here, buddy. I'm not gonna see you for so long. He's probably like, what the hell is going on? Like, I don't understand, guys. Get Honestly, out of here. Honestly, we're like, we're like, oh, he's gonna miss us so much. It's gonna be so hard. I think it's actually harder for us right now than for him. He's like, whatever, guys. I'm chilling. <laughs> Bye. By the way, this is Joe, guys. You might have seen Joe in our previous videos. What's up, Joe? <laughs> yeah, he's the man who's helping us out. Him and his wife. Palita, <laughs> right here. Boom. Bye. <laughs> he actually kissed the lens. Aww. Be good. Don't break anything. Stay away from the dog. Mwah. Big kiss on the mouth. Come here. See you later, buddy. <sighs> Try not to cry. Try not to cry. So now we're going to the Friendship Bridge and then straight into Thailand. Yeah. Yeah, it just happened so fast. We wasn't sure what ride we're gonna get, but all of these people just been helping us out so much so they organized yeah. the ride for us they're actually coming with us we're all going to thailand right see you hey, later see, see you in a few months bye bye yeah see you soon <laughs> focus got to go got to go got to go So we're just at the border right now. I'm not sure if I can film this, so I'll do it until I get busted. But this is pretty much the Friendship Bridge just across that border. Friendship Bridge number three, because there's three of them between Thailand and okay. Laos. But we have no idea where we're going, because Lao people and like you know what the, is different. The, the funniest thing is that we were just chilling with Joe, and Joe was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to Thailand as well, just because I never been to Thailand before. So he's coming to Thailand. Are you yeah. excited? Yeah. <laughs> Just to go get some Krispy Kreme donuts. In KFC, yeah. yeah. <laughs> For a day. We just successfully crossed into Thai border, right? We just gone past Lao border. Everything's all right. Yeah. Got our stamps. And it's kind of weird because, like, I feel like kind of like we're breaking all those four of us in the back. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love it, you know, like going with the locals crossing the border. It's like feels so privileged, man. Getting a little selfie here with there the crew. Getting those selfies. Boom. Where are we? We're in a Kampanam bus station about to hit the road to Chiang Mai for 15 hours on a bus. We just bought it on our bus in Thailand, about to hit the road to go to Chiang Mai for 15 hours or so. Absolute mission. But it's not too bad because I mean look at these buses. Wow. Lush. No smell, aircon. I mean like look at these seats everywhere. It's like epic and they have a leg rest like yeah. how cool is that right bunch I mean, of leg room 15 hours you expect something pretty comfortable because yeah. it's gonna be long compared to that Lao bus that we took from VNT into Takak is like incomparable we really feel like we are in a completely different world right now and it, it is I guess a different country yeah but yeah I can't believe we're already back in Thailand already yeah. again yeah we kind of got on the bus and we were like oh are we forgetting something like it feels like something's missing for sure yeah, yeah. And already missing it. Yeah, it feels so like <laughs> I feel like slightly a bit depressed to be honest. We had such a bond with this cat. It's yeah. really f like it's just weird not having him here. It's it was always in the way. You're not allowed to go on the cat with the cat on this bus to Chiang Mai. We would have had to take a train all around through Bangkok. But sometimes I'm like he's traveling with us in our uh, hearts. I, but he's the, here. sometimes I feel like it, it was worth the whole effort. But yeah. it's mainly the cat is not enjoying it. it. You know, the cat itself it does not enjoy it. So we think we did the right thing. And one more shout out for Joe and his wife Polita. Big up guys for helping us out with this cat. Amazing people. Yeah, seriously. They even brought us all the way here to the station, to the bus station. Yeah. Like we didn't even have to get any ride or pay for anything. Like if he, we were gonna get a tuk-tuk from Takek to here and there was no chance. There was no, uh, uh, what the hell we were thinking? There was no way you could have got here, you know? And like the border is so far away from the station as well. 
but yeah no more chai on travels on toast but it's a new era for us we're going to be able to do a lot more a lot more, a lot more crazier things yeah. because we don't have to worry about him yeah he's happy in his new home new chapter begins